My name is Kyle. I am 17 and I still live in my mom's house. I'm a senior in high school, turning 18 this April. Lately, I have insomnia, which, if you don't know, is a sleep disorder. I've been having a hard time sleeping, and when I do, I wake up every night at 11.58 p.m. Last night, same as always, I woke up at 11.58. This time, I just kind of sat there for a minute, because I feel like something woke me up. I just listened for a minute, before I heard a noise. It was the type of noise that drones on and kind of pulls you into it, getting progressively louder. My thought, since I can't sleep, I would just go see where the noise is coming from. My room is at the end of a hallway in my house, so as soon as you walk out of my room, it's just a hallway. Well. I walked out of my room to inspect the source of the noise. I checked my watch. 12 a.m. I looked up from my watch and saw the pitch black hallway. Something was off about it, though. It seemed longer. I started slowly walking down the pitch black hallway. As I thought I was getting to the end, where the noise was coming from, the hallway continued. I looked behind me. The door to my room was gone. All of the doors in the hallway were gone. It was just an endless corridor. My eyes became used to the dark, so I could see the walls and ways in front of me. I didn't know what to do. So I just kept walking in the direction of the noise. The noise didn't get any louder. The farther I walked, the noise just stayed the same. I started to feel uneasy. I checked my watch again. It still said 12 a.m. What? I mumbled to myself. I know I've been walking for at least 10 minutes already. I started to get the feeling that someone was watching me. I turned around to glance back in the direction I came from. There was a silhouette of a person, a tall person, almost touching the ceiling. They were very slender as well. The more I looked at it, the more inhuman I started to notice it was. It was also starting to get closer. It wasn't walking though, it wasn't moving. It was getting closer, but wasn't moving. I started to run in the opposite direction as the creature. That made my adrenaline kick into overdrive. I started running faster than I thought I ever could. I ran for about two minutes until I thought I would collapse. I turned around. There was nothing there. I stopped to catch my breath. I also checked the time. 12 AM. What is happening? I said with a shaky voice. I began walking forward again, but there was no noise. It was silent. The only sound I heard was my footsteps echoing through the hallway. I couldn't describe the feeling I had being in this hallway, except for pure anxiety. It seemed to be filling the empty void that is this corridor. Worry, fear, and panic raced through my head as I continued down this now silent hallway. I started to run. There was no threat, but I just started to run, pounding on the walls as I ran down the endless corridor. I stopped after a while and pounded continuously on a specific spot, hopefully just trying to find an exit. I pounded until I got so tired and worn out that... I ended up passing out from exhaustion. I awoke what felt like hours later in a dark, empty room. The only thing that illuminated the room was my watch turning on. I looked at the time, 12 AM. Slowly got up and went to the only door in the room and opened it. I saw the endless, empty, pitch black corridor from before. 
I closed the door and stayed in the room for a few minutes. I started to hear sounds coming from inside the room after about five minutes. But I checked the time. Still 12 a.m. I used the light from my watch to investigate the noise. It was coming from a back corner of the room. I got close enough to the source of the sound that the light illuminated a figure. A silhouette of another humanoid figure. This one shorter. It was hunched over in the corner. Hello? I asked with a shaky voice. I heard the cracking of bones as its neck broke and tilted its head all the way back to look at me. Black liquid dripped from its eyes as a smile formed on its face. The creature's skin was a pale gray. I began to slowly back away, my light still illuminating most of the figure. The creature's bones began to crack more as I saw it contorting its body, its limbs inverted like the legs of a goat. Its elbows and knees were inverted and its bones extremely broken. It screeched and started rapidly crawling after me. I dashed to the door. I opened it and ran out. The door slammed behind me and I turned around. The creature didn't follow me. I noticed something. Every time I begin to slow down, a creature appears to make me go faster. If I pass out or fall asleep, I have to restart. I came up with an idea. I started running at a pace where I wouldn't get tired easily. I ran without looking around me. As I progressed, the feelings of panic, fear, and worry came back, ignoring all of them. I checked my watch as I was running. 12 a.m. It felt like I was running for the longest time. I was starting to get extremely tired, but I knew I could not stop. I used the last remaining energy I had to run as fast as I could. The pressure of me hitting something sent a surprise through my body, and I screamed and fell back. Fearing it might be a creature, I hesitantly opened my eyes. It was a door. I reached the end of the hallway. I checked my watch. 12 a.m. I got up slowly and moved towards the door. I heard noises coming from behind me, getting louder. I opened the door and slammed it behind me. I turned around to see my bedroom. I glanced at the door behind me and looked back to my bed. I checked my watch. 12.01 AM. I collapsed in my bed, exhausted. The next thing I remember, I was waking up from something else. I opened my eyes. It was morning. I checked my watch. 7.22 AM. I don't know what happened last night, nor do I want to know. But if you hear a noise coming from your hallway at 12 AM, <laughs> don't open the door. Just go back to bed. <laughs> 